Voters in many cities all across Minnesota are choosing school boards and council members today. But a lot of attention is on Minneapolis and St. Paul, where ranked choice voting means counting ballots for mayor could take a while after the polls are closed. We have team coverage in both cities tonight with Esme Murphy in Minneapolis, but we want to start with Jen from Marilee in St. Paul. Hi, Jen. Hi, Amelia, and this is peak voting time, and so much so that I'm told this location just ran out of ballots. So have other locations in this precinct, and I'm told it's because the voter turnout is higher than what was expected in the St. Paul mayoral election. I am told more ballots are on the way as people are waiting here at this church to cast their vote. Uh, here in St. Paul, voters can rank up to six choices for mayor. That means they can choose their number one person all the way down to number six, and because of that, it could take a while to get the results even days. There has been a steady stream of voters coming into the Holy Spirit Church. Uh, since it opened up at 7 o'clock this morning for voting, the neighborhood voting location is the largest in St. Paul. It traditionally has a big turnout, and this election day is no exception. Voters tell me they feel the rank choice system makes the process feel more inclusive, while others want results right away. While voters wanted to keep their ranking private, they were clear about what they want from their next mayor. I want a candidate to work on our financial situation because it's going to be a problem. That and property taxes in the city, there has to be some other solution to, that we can't carry the backbone of our whole city on, on, on homeowners. I think St. Paul has a great opportunity to not be second always to Minneapolis. I think that we can make some clear decisions in St. Paul that make us a leader. And Ramsey County election officials tell me they do not expect a clear winner tonight in the St. Paul mayor's race. Um, but they do say if that's the case, they will start preparing the ballots tomorrow to start counting them by hand Thursday morning. Jen, did they say anything about why they ran out of ballots? I know that they always you said there's a high voter turnout. So were they expecting not as many? That's right. They said compared to four years ago, there weren't as many voters. Of course, this is a more competitive race this year. And in that case, it uh, seems like they need more ballots, Amelia. All right. Thank you, Jennifer.